in this video will combine two learning objectives. The first one is to state the seven base quantity and their SI units. Then the second learning objective is state the base quantities of a given derived quantity. What are SI units? SI units are a set of international system of units. In short form, we call them SI units. Define seven units of measure as a base or basic set of units. Then, what are base quantities? Base quantities are fundamental physical quantities which all other physical quantities can be written. That is, all physical quantities are made up of combination of base quantities. We have seven base quantities. Look, length, mass, time, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, luminous intensity, that's for light, amount of substance, then each of the base quantity here has an SI unit. For length, the SI unit is meter. Meter is the name for the SI unit and M is the symbol. So on this page, the names of the SI unit are written in full word. The symbol is in brackets. Mass has the SI unit of kilogram. Time, seconds. Electric current, ampere. Thermodynamic temperature, Kelvin. Luminous intensity is in candela. And amount of substance is in mole. However, in our lower sec, sec 1 syllabus, most of the time that we will be focusing on the first three. They are length, mass, and time. The base quantities are the fundamental building blocks from which we can create appropriate quantities that can be used to measure physical quantities or physical properties. The derived quantities are quantities that are made up of a combination of base quantities. Let's go to look at some example. For example, force. Can you guess what are the base quantity and the base units? On the screen, you can see that the base quantity that made up for force are mass, length, and time. And you also can see on the screen that the symbol for the base unit are in kg, m, and s. That means kilogram, meter, and second. Let's look at speed. For the unit of speed, meter per second, can you guess what are the base quantities? Yes, length and time are the base quantities and the base units are meter and second. Let's go to pressure. From the units given to you, are you able to determine the base quantity here? Yes, it's mass, length, and time. The unit for pressure comprises of kg, meter, and second square. That means the base unit, kilogram, meter, and second. Let's go to the last example. Acceleration. The unit for acceleration is meter per second square. Now, can you guess the base quantity? Yes, it's length and time. The base units are meter and second. 